Now for our featured story of the day. Max Kaiser warns a government season Bitcoin and ETFs and predicts a 1987 style crash as the Bitcoin price rises to 500000 to $1 million. That's right. Check this out, as you can see here in the headline. But first, we're going to start with some tweets from the high priest himself. 1987 style crash a coming. Bitcoin, the ultimate safe haven, will soar past 500000 per coin. Gold will continue getting demonetized. By Bitcoin. Bitcoin ETFs and domestic Bitcoin miners will get seized by the U.S. government. One million middle and upper class migrants will flood into El Salvador. And he predicted this back in February off the back of this news from the Kabisi letter. The top 10% of stocks in the U.S. now reflect 75% of the entire market. This is by far the worst concentrated stock market since the Great Depression in 1931. In the dot-com bubble of 2001, concentration of the top 10% of the stocks peaked at 72%. Even prior to the 2008 financial crisis, concentration of the top 10% of the stocks peaked at 66%. On average, the top 10% of the stocks reflect 64% of the entire stock market is a correction overdue. What are your thoughts, family? Let me know. And let me know if you agree with his 500,000 Bitcoin price prediction. But wait, there's more. Now, off the back of this news from February, a New York attorney general says she may seize Trump building's assets if he can't pay the $355 million penalty. Max responded, if they can do this to Trump, they can certainly seize Bitcoin held in a Bitcoin ETF and commandeer U.S. BTC miners. Self-custody or lose it. So he's ultimately saying in so many words, expect the government to take that Bitcoin in the name of national security, because they're corrupt mofos. If you want to protect your biddies, you need to self-custody it, or you're going to lose it. Let me know if you agree. He also tweeted, number one, government seizes the ETF for national security. Number two, before they send you your USD. Number three, price moves up to 100000 per biddy. Number four, you pay tax on the gain from the payout, and that's what's left. And then you buy Bitcoin at a price 100000 higher. Number five, price crashes. Number six, you're now sitting on a net losing price position from where you started. Womp womp. And there's more. You are not protected against government seizure and the U.S. government plans to seize all the Bitcoin ETF. Bitcoin in the interests of national security. You know what I mean? So let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm going to actually read deeper into this uh, article here. So yeah, the high priest of Bitcoin, Max Kaiser, expresses concerns about the spot Bitcoin ETFs and a potential market crash while sharing a bold Bitcoin price prediction in which I just read to you. On uh, He also said that the Attorney General New York, uh, General Letitia James, potentially moving to seize assets from President Trump if he fails to pay that $355 million penalty. He explained that if the authorities can seize Trump's assets, they can certainly seize Bitcoin coin held by the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And I agree with that uh, sentiment because I don't trust the U.S. government. Why should we? Governments around the world regularly seize Bitcoin held on centralized crypto exchanges. Facts. With the U.S. government being one of the top confiscators. Facts. Often as a part of the criminal investigations. Facts. Several other countries have also been active in seizing cryptos. Facts. As evidenced by the U.K. police's recent disclosure of 61,000 BTC in which they just started selling. Facts. And also, major Chinese investment fraud and German authorities, January report, a 50,000 BTC seizure. This is all facts, family. Meanwhile, spot Bitcoin ETFs have hit record trading volumes. As you know, MicroStrategy's chairman, Michael Saylor, says Bitcoin has become the world's most popular investment asset. And as you know, since the Bitcoin ETFs have went live January 11th, roughly five months ago, they've already achieved fantastic uh, trading volume, unprecedented in ETF history. And I think that that will likely uh, continue. But I want to know your thoughts surrounding, do you think the U.S. government will likely do that? Do you think they will take your biddies? And I want to remind you of a few things. First and foremost, there used to be a 1933 Gold Seizure Act. Do you remember? Obviously, many of you weren't obviously here. It's like 100 years ago, for Christ's sake, 90 years ago, whatever it is. But we all know history. And sometimes history don't repeat. But oftentimes, history rhymes. So if they had the balls to confiscate all the wealth in gold in 1933 was to stop the U.S. government from repeating that, but with the Bitcoin, which is digital gold. This is as simple as it could be, and they can actually seize the Bitcoin ETF BTC. The president of the United States right now is Joe Biden. He creates an executive order, and he claims Bitcoin is a threat to the U.S. dollar. It undermines the value of the U.S. dollar. And so therefore, in the name of national security, we are going to seize all of the Bitcoin ETF BTC. And maybe at that time, BlackRock will hold 
3 million Bitcoin, right? Who knows? They already have hundreds of thousands of Bitcoin and they achieved that in five months. What took MicroStrategy four years to achieve, 214,000 Bitcoin. They just like announced another 14,000 buy just recently. Um, BlackRock achieved in a few months. BlackRock's not gonna slow down anytime soon. Who's the custodian of BlackRock? Coinbase. Coinbase is the custodian of the majority of the Bitcoin ETF BTC in the United States. So it would be so simple, so easy, so effortless for the U.S. government to do that. So I want to know your thoughts. Will the U.S. government seize all of the Bitcoin in the name of national security? No, never. Maybe. Eventually. Absolutely. Yes. Or more than likely. My vote, I'm leaning towards... Absolutely, yes, because that's how much I trust our U.S. government, or more than likely. No, never. I'm skeptical of that answer. Maybe eventually, I'm a little skeptical of that answer. So I'm being 100% transparent with you, but let me know your thoughts. And what are your thoughts of Bitcoin rising to a half a million, one million, infinity, and beyond? Holla at your boy. And remember, the only protected Bitcoin, and which is unconfiscatable, is self-custodied BTC right? You got to keep that in mind. When you purchase Bitcoin through the ETF, number one, you're not purchasing Bitcoin. You're giving the cash equivalents, right? BlackRock's supposed to buy the Bitcoin and use custody, uh, custodian Coinbase to custody it for you. So you got to keep that in mind. Ultimately, meaning Coinbase becomes a honeypot for all the Bitcoin in the world. And the government works very closely with centralized exchanges, such as Coinbase, so I want you to connect the dots here and understand how easy it can be if that's what they choose to do. And then that would give the United States government the majority of the Bitcoin supply. You feel me? Let me know your thoughts, family. Bitcoin ETF seizure is much easier than the gold seizure, says Laser Cat. I bought it from the distillery in the town called California Moon. That's a good name. Nice, smooth bourbon, uh, says Jay-Z. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. Be careful. Thieves are everywhere. Facts, Kepler. Our own government. Stay away from the Coinbase. Said that years ago. FYI, Spycraft. No, would have already done it by now, says Original Classic. Well, I think it'd be more strategic if they waited for BlackRock to continue accumulating a couple of years before they pulled that move, just speaking. Uh, not if Trump, they won't get seized, says Mr. T. If they were planning to seize it, are they dumping it now? But maybe, asked Richard. My nephew used to confiscate Bitcoin from the criminals for the U.S. government. Whoa. BlackRock are the government. Bingo! Some would say BlackRock and the U.S. government, one in the motherfucking same. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Let me know. When the government turns up the heat, grab the BTC, send it rocketing. P.S. SEC. CEO, now in charge at Coinbase. Bada boom, bada bing. Most likely they will, says JC. We are almost in default for the U.S. debt of $1.2 trillion. They would want to sell it to cover the debt, says JC. There you go. They will wait till the bags are full. And Bitcoin is 266000 Goals confiscate Bitcoin and compensate accordingly. Word up, uh, T. Wildmoon. Wildmoon. I appreciate uh, your feedback here. Let me know, family. Don't be shy. I want to know your thoughts on this. In my Scarface quote, I never trusted that piece of ish U.S. government. <laughs> I don't kill no children, man. Fuck that. Uh, if Max is right, wait for his predicted price dip before buying back, says Richard Jones. The buyback, try that. Why that? Why cap? Hmm. Anyways, let me know, family. The government will steal anything and everything from you. Don't trust the ETF, self-custody your biddies, and give the middle finger to the government and their plans to enslave you. Music to my ears, dankness. Couldn't have said it better myself. In a recession, I'm stacking bits and I'm flexing. El Salvador, please set me free. IMF, please let me be. Proof of work, BTC. Empty your mind, no TV. Never believe everything that you read. The devil will succeed upon your level of greed. FUD is designed to shake the trees, make believe. Bitcoin is designed to make you G's. Make you M's, make you cheese. Make you win, set you free. All glory to G-O-D. True story, no C-A-P. BTC, currency of the people. Bitcoin's immutable, 
versus evil while America is celebrating the war. El Salvador is elevating the poor because El Salvador is amazing and more. El Salvador is the safest abroad. El Salvador is the nation of God. El Salvador put faith in Bitcoin, made it legal tender, kicked out the shit coins. Kicked out the shit coins.